The last chapter, it doesn't work. It needs a rewrite. How much of it? All of it. You're right. No. I'm bloody not all right and I want more chocolate. Maybe it would help if we talked it through. What have I missed? I think the problem might be that you don't really get to choose your ending. It has to follow naturally from what comes before or it doesn't feel true. Oh, it's so insightful. I want to start with Darcy. Mm, good day. I don't understand her. Look at it. I mean, why is she in love with a man who betrays her so utterly? He's emotionally crippled, has an uncomfortable tendency for mean-spiritedness. He has nice hair. Wonderful. Okay, so yes. Maybe there's an element of autobiography, which means you're the reason I can't write. Me? At some point during the last few weeks, it dawned on me that when I finished this novel, we were finished too. And some insane <laughs> part of me doesn't want that to happen. You're my block, Tom. But I want you to finish it. Yeah, of course you want me to finish it. And for what? So you can turn a profit. I've sold it. What? I've sold the business. No, you can't have sold it. A stupid company is you. Get it back. You can't do this to me. I'm on the moral high ground here and I'm not getting off now. You sold it? Yeah. And you can take all the time you need for the last chapter. I made it part of the deal. Uh, Tom? I didn't sign. With Clinch and McLeish, I, I couldn't do it. Jane, I've spoken to my relationship manager. If I hear the word sad, beautiful, or music, you're a dead man. Apparently. I block you. And I block you too. What? What could possibly be more important? I know how it ends. I'm just gonna. 